Hello and welcome to this episode of Makeup Box Mondays. Uh, today I'm going to have a look at a filament from Filament PM called APST. Um, let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is called APST um, from Filament PM. Um, let's have a look at the label. And here they say the hot end temperature should be 230 to 250 and I was printing at 235 um, bed temperature 90 to 100 and speed not listed and fan off or low other treat light APS ventilation and enclosure advised and I was printing in my enclosure here you can see here in the, behind me um, uh, but they say here it's a different type of APS less shrinkage and less warp pits than standard APS print will be glossy and it's from filament pm and see the website here filament pm.com for the Czech Republic but let's have a look at the prints and the first print I did was a stringing test and this is probably the most awesome stringing test I've ever done there is absolutely no stringing and the points are so clean and absolutely no issues it's very very clean print and as you can see the, the tips are like razor sharp uh, this is excellent and uh, quite tough to to break so it's it's like abs it bends a little bit more than uh, pla before it breaks but the, the tips are extremely clean so i was quite happy to see that i then printed out my maker coin and that came out excellent for most parts except the, the overhangs because the part cooling fan was off there's a little bit of problems here with the overhangs and um, I guess that's expected with those steep overhangs and, and no part cooling so other, other than that the, the letters here in the back came out excellent and, and the face the top side of the face was really good and, and the letters so it was just, uh, just the overhangs that had this problem I then printed out the, the Otis model by Gareth and this is printed out without any infill and at some point the the print like concaved on itself <laughs> so it had a, had trouble with this overhang and and because it uh, melted down from the bed heat it didn't have any structure inside so when it was up to this point it started to shift shift the layers and it was just melting a little bit down and moving as it went along but besides from that the, the surface quality here in the, in the face part is really smooth and, and also here in the backside so uh, I guess my fault here is to have no infill and I tried to print the samples without infill just to be able to print a little bit more but uh, this is happening on this print but then I printed uh, sort of layers a lot and I decided to print that a little bit slower and that came out excellent and absolutely no issues with this print it, even in the overhangs uh, it's quite good so so with this filament uh, if you if you need good results uh, just slow down the, the print speed so this was uh, coming out excellent and absolutely no issues and really really clean print and even though this one has no infill uh, it, it didn't concave and it just had time to to settle before the next top layers came on top of it so this was uh, pretty good so i was quite happy with this one and then i printed the benchy and that one concaved on itself as well and then here on the top i ran out of filament but uh, so like in this benching it has very little infill so it was just uh, melting a little bit too much <laughs> so with the overhangs it had problems so uh, but this print shows me that you can get excellent results with this filament and if you get your settings right and i was quite happy to get an abs that was uh, giving me these results it was a little bit surprising to be honest <laughs> to, to get this like perfect print out of abs print but this was uh, coming out excellent and, and then i think the fault in the other ones are due to infill and, and two steep overhangs so it's it's uh, reasonable reasons <laughs> and, and the stringing performance here on this one is absolutely excellent and, and the the tips are so sharp it's super uh, 
detailed uh, and uh, and so the tips. So that was really nice. So this was a filament from Filament PM called APST. It was uh, a nice surprise to get the serial layers a lot in excellent detail and it overall gave me a good confidence in, in APS <laughs> T filament. It, it uh, was coming out excellent beside the maybe my settings on, on infill and, and, and speed to give the filament a chance to cool down. But, uh, so I, I was surprised uh, actually by this filament uh, and especially the stringing test, it was absolutely perfect. But uh, this will be it for this video. I'm Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please subscribe and, and give this video a thumbs up uh, and leave a comment on what you think. But for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.